When you browse the internet, your browser communicates with servers to fetch the pages you want. This includes host header. If a hacker alters this header, they can confuse the server and display pages of their own choice rather than the one you requested. Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how they do it and safeguards against it. Let's get started. Go to the challenge page and it says that this lab makes an assumption about the privilege level of the user based on the HTTP host header. Assess the admin panel and delete the user. Click on assess the lab. Switch foxy proxy to verb suit. Open verb suit and keep intercept off. Refresh the page. Get back to the verb suit. HTTP history, get method, right click and send it to repeater. Hmm. Repeater, change host from .net to .com, click send. Response is HTTP to 200 OK. Get back to the challenge page and address bar type admin and hit enter. Now this interface is only available to local user. Interesting. Verb suit proxy select admin URL right click and send it to repeater repeater Tap on send and response is unauthorized. Time to play. Change host from this domain to local host. Click on send. Now the response is 200 OK. Let's make some more changes. In the first line, use delete command that is delete question mark equals to the victim's name that is Carlos click on send and it's done congratulations you solved the lab to safeguard against host header authentication bypass vulnerability number one leverage virtual host that is separate environments and restrict SS. Number two, implement content security policy or CSP. Number three, do regular audits. Now by implementing these safeguards, you can reduce the risk of host header authentication bypass vulnerabilities and protect your application from unauthorized SS. Thanks for watching.